New video shows two Chicago police officers getting hit by a car while trying to arrest burglary suspects. Guns are drawn, but not a single shot was fired. CBS 2's Jermon Terry took this video to a use of force expert. He's live along Dusabo Lakeshore Drive with what she says went right and wrong. Jermon. Erica and Joe, there are police pod cameras along this section here of DuSable Lakeshore Drive, and CPD is looking them over, trying to find the person who deliberately tried running over and hitting two Chicago police officers. Yet tonight, new video from someone right here on the drive in traffic gives you an idea of just how close those officers came to seriously getting hurt. With guns drawn, Chicago police officers box in a vehicle. The suspects were just spotted breaking into this work van and some apartments minutes away in the Gold Coast. And this viral video first posted by user Chicago Critter on Facebook. You see cops get the driver out, but there's someone else in the passenger seat. Watch, despite guns and clear view, the passenger jumps into the driver's seat and floors it. It's got two officers, they got hit by the car. The officers had every right to shoot, um, but they were more concerned with the citizens around them. Mylan Masson spent two decades as director of law enforcement training in Minnesota. She reviewed the video from over the weekend involving CPD. Within about one second, they had to decide, am I going to shoot or not shoot? And they chose not to. The viral video has left many people raising questions about the method these officers use. Yet Masson says in these tense moments, officers try to gain control quickly. Have the person cut the car off, if you can think about it quickly and if they'll do it. There's no audio, so we can't hear the cops' orders. With guns out, they meant business, yet the second suspect did not care. We have to remember that a car is a weapon. While officers use great restraints by never firing, the box in did not work. It zoomed away, so it wasn't blocked very well. Could they have blocked the car more? I'm not sure. It just depends on the situation. The injured officers are out the hospital. The driver is in custody, but the one who hit the cops still on the run. They'll get it together and they'll eventually find that person. And no word yet if the driver arrested has helped police in finding the person who took off after hitting those officers. But when police find him, this guy is going to face more than just burglary charges. He's going to face some felony charges. That's what's on the table tonight for battery of a police officer. Reporting live along DuSable Lake Shore Drive, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? Jermont, thank you.